All right, settings. There's actually a lot to cover in this because there's so many different things that you can do to tweak your blog to personalize it to your individual needs. Uh, we'll go this one section at a time and we'll basically cover the gist of what's going on as well as a couple of little hidden gems here and there that most people may overlook or might not necessarily know about. Um, we'll start with general settings. This is basically the information about your blog and how certain items are displayed. Um, if you ever wanted to edit your subheadline or your tagline, you're going to find that right here in general settings, and that's where you're going to be able to edit it. Your WordPress address URL and your blog address URL, nine times, 99 percent of the time, this is going to be exactly the same, but every now and again you have a special circumstance where it's not. Uh, if you're unsure, just leave it the way it is. The email address, this is where all the notifications are going to get sent. This isn't your user email address. This is where your notifications are. Um, so after a while, let's say that you start to get a lot of comments and you start to get a lot of users registering all the time, you may want to switch that to a general catch-all email address that gets processed and funneled away somewhere. So that way every morning your inbox isn't flooded with anywhere between 10 to 50 uh, system email addresses. So this is actually something that you maybe want to be able to change later on. In the beginning it's okay to have it as yours, but as you get more and more activity it's something that you'll want to change. Membership. Uh, if you want anyone to register, your login meta will show all, all it will show also a register link that people can register a uh, username and password and be able to sign up for your site. And if you check that box, that's what's going to show up there. The new user default role, you're always going to almost want to put that at subscriber. That is someone who can go in and put in comments and read. Uh, anything above that, you run the risk of, you know, uh, messing up any of your blog posts. So you usually always want to keep that at subscriber. 99% of the time, it's where you're always going to keep it. Your time zone, that's what's going to, that's what's going to be displayed whenever you're uh, adding a post. Uh, it's going to show your local time to the rest of the world after you've added the post. So, Date format, if you're in a different country and your dates showed up a little bit differently, you can change that here. Uh, same thing with time. Um, and also, the week starts on. If you, if this applies to the calendar in your sidebar. So if you want your week to start on Sunday instead of Monday or whenever, or maybe if you have uh, an internal blog for employees and the pay period starts on Thursday, sometimes you maybe want to adjust your calendar accordingly. So, and that is all for the general settings.